Crusader Kings 3. Where else would we be for day five of our wonderful, magical tour across the European map plus more? Last time, we uh, learned some valuable information about how we can kind of exploit the game a little bit where we just are now able to declare pretty much a war on anybody no matter the prestige cost because our fame level is so high devotion level is so high just because we have such a, a bank of it that is uh not displayed because we're a living legend but eventually we might run out of that well but for now we can just continue to just find people and use their uh claims on their countrymen domain or our vassal limit so that's going to be an interesting thing we have to keep uh keep going back to the well so it's i think our idea of only forcing current vassals to gain more land is probably smarter um because right now we uh we have too much land um the issue i'm mostly running into is just how we could be a little bit more efficient uh it'd be really helpful if we had had um the AI be a little bit more uh, aggressive for us on our behalf. That would have been nice, uh, especially because I feel like that or maybe the better way in the future if you're doing this is just to convert, constantly be converting to the right faith that the zone you're mo moving into. Like be Catholic to conquer all the Catholic areas so that you can vassalize them or do something of that ilk. Um, start writing uh saying answering questions that nobody actually asked be like oh yeah my favorite food is mexican food i would if i had to not eat any other food ever again um i would eat mexican food that's a good question james i think i'm gonna start doing that just putting words in your mouths and when we do the hi highlight recap nobody will even know bruce world domination today of course um will it happen today Probably not. Um, we'll probably get pretty close. Uh, I've already connected the Empire. We might experience the Mongols today. I might also just say screw it on the Iberian foothold because they're taking forever to get this um, to the opportunity phase. Lots of people in this country are constantly seeking my indulgences now. And I think it's for the majority of the people who are doing it are the low tiered people. The people who are, yeah. I want to just let's let's go look at a random let's say like one of our poorer counties um would be out here um uh, and see how rich they are um the city how rich is the city lord he's got 312 gold so there's a lot of wealth in these areas like let's go to like one of the richer areas one of my people so one of my city lords he's sporting about 700 7, gold treasure troves of gold out there so that's why everybody's able to do indulgences so often i think it also helped yesterday that we weren't attacking so many people so quickly that's why we weren't having as much rebels and that we were having a much easier time of converting the land like how long has this guy personally owned this title he's owned it since 1162 and we just recently converted him yeah that's bad I used to be an event planner um, for uh, co private companies as well as as a um, contractor um, for a company w who worked with Down the Trucks North America, which for you, y'all who don't know, they do trucks like 18 wheelers. They also own Mercedes Benz and some other assets. Um, they were doing a huge sales show in New Orleans. And for that show, they had rented out the Superdome. One of the reasons why I'm such a uh, Saints fan. And for that show, the Superdome is such a big facility because we were doing the event on the where the field is normally played or like where the football is normally played. So it's a huge field. Um, so for that event, they let us go and rent um, a bunch of electric uh, carts. And at one point, um, it was after the show, like near the end of the show, we decided to have start drag racing on the <laughs> on the field um the field wasn't there it was concrete at that point um so we started moving like the floor had been cleared of all the meeting rooms and all that stuff so we me and one of the other production assistants 
decided that it would be a smart idea to just see which how fast we could go. Bribe with artifacts. Uh, yeah, we got him good. All right, let's form the Sino check. Um, let's go with Eastern Europe. Let's keep mostly everything Eastern Europe. Um, the issue though is, did all of my lands convert? No. What decides what counties convert with you? No, it's definitely random. It's 100% random. Um, I think they just, within the ones you control, they like give you a certain percentage of like, I think it's essentially a dice roll because like one, obviously your capital always converts, but it looks like one, two, three only converted. Somebody who's already a well developed, I think that's probably the smart thing to start doing. Um, Novgorod, do you want some land? It's gonna give us a hundred or thirteen hundred um, renown to do this, so that's great. That probably should give us enough for a dynasty, almost. Uh, kill count's probably at like one up uh, to seventeen, but that's because we've executed a ton of people. I think I've personally killed like. 20 people would you want a newer empire t total war i would love a uh, medieval total war to happen if they remade that game that'd be sick um no shame on the uh warhammer series right now i i've played it before i like it it's not really my bag totally but i wish it was a medieval one would come back out or shogun would be another good one it's looking a lot pinker you love to see it uh, it'd be better if some of these lands were getting consolidated by somebody else, but, you know, what are you going to do? He just wants to <laughs> spend his last couple years in peace. No, no, no. No peace for you, my man. All it is is more rebels. He's got 26,000 troops, so, like, the AI is smart enough to, like, fight off people. He'll be fine. This is the, it's called the AI shuffle, where they move around and actually don't do accomplish anything. They just kind of move space to space to space. Seems to be a common occurrence that's going on right now. Uh, to the Great Hall. He's good enough. Good enough for government work. And that's what he's going to be doing for the rest of his life. A lot of government work. Lots and lots of government work. Not Navarra. This one, that one, this one. This one, this one, this one, and I think that's it. And we're gonna get 1600 stuff, great. If you conquer the world, you should totally get Lingua Franca. Thing has already got Lingua Franca, so we don't need to worry about that, but yeah, it should happen in theory. If That's how I'll know I've conquered the world. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure that's how that's gonna come down. It's not like a world conquest until you have Lingua Franca. Ever did a campaign to take counties with all the same terrain type? No, because I'm, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. I've done ones where like we did the Roman outline. That one was the one I think that compared to this one, that one was probably more mind numbing because essentially I said the rule was that you could only take the coastline of um, the lands. You guys don't know how much time I put into making these time lapses sometimes. I feel like y'all appreciate it, but you don't appreciate it. Like some of them, like initially when I did all the, the all Republic one, that one nearly broken. We nearly broke me. You need interns. What I really need to do is just like learn how to mod because that would actually fix a lot of the like simple issues. Then I could just go in the back end and be like, create, kingdom with x amount of or this factor i feel like people underestimate how hard it is to conquer the world in ck3 i think it can be i think people just also it's that not only that they underestimate they also kind of just don't give it as much credence because they're like well i i know i can do it because i can i get that strong and i can start steamrolling but they never really do it because they like it's it's time consuming please revoke it ah! <laughs> i've done goofed up i've done goofed up big time i've done goofed up this time yeah yep <laughs> uh, 
At least we have a large enough army that we can fight two simultaneously conflicts. What do you think your greatest achievement in TK3 is? I would say uh, Roman Outline was one of my gr greater achievements and then the university tour. I liked that campaign uh, where I went around and uh, took, I got all 13 universities across the world and developed them up uh, each of those provinces to have 40 development. Um, that one was pretty, that was a good accomplishment. Also Crusader state hopping. I. I don't know if it was like my original. I don't know if it was my idea originally. Obviously, it probably was like read it somewhere on the subreddit ages ago, and then me doing that again. I really liked that one. Um, but those are probably the couple of so wild, so very wild. This campaign, we're just. <laughs> I don't know, man. The game is, we, we've pushed the game into a level of that it should not be played this way. This is definitely not the maker's intention to ever get this far and have this much army and have this much gold and have this much, like, it's just like, clearly we can, we're seeing the edge of the game. We've really pushed it to that point now that, especially with not being able to like spread that easily, They've, the AI is constantly working against us, like our own AI is working against, trying to expand on their own. And just like, I think we've had the same similar discussion over the last seven streams where we just talk about how there's just not enough late game content. Like we're not gonna make it to 1300, I don't think, because we're gonna be done by then. And by then there's no point to get to 14, another 152 years. Obviously we'd find workarounds eventually, but I think for right now, this is, game needs more unsettled life like if you the longer your characters live the better the situation gets so if i had already had like we can look at my lineage one more time but all these characters for the most part live for very long times like my first couple characters should not be living to 73 obviously i've used that little cheeky um cheese where i started a character off as a beautiful quick Hail to get the Bloodfather title, which gives us all those extra life expectancy. How bad are our court amenities getting? They're getting pretty bad. 68 gold every day. We probably should increase our um, domain stuff a little bit more. Just offset it a little bit. We only have 400 gold. Grand intelligences, you're right. Oh, thank God. We almost ran out there, guys. Whew. You can revoke Sweden title. Yep. Well, no, I can't because these guys are dumb. What could go wrong without food? That's what I mean. There's plenty of food. They have supplies. Don't act like I'm not sending them with supplies. It's just that they're going to have l thousands of levies die every time they move through a new area. This guy is trying to buy a, a truce. Nope. Uh, we're in the opportunity phase. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what do we need to do for this? We just need to have a title of de jure land next to the theirs. Um, let's finish this war and then we can we can do that. Uh, we found a secret about this dude. That's not what we want. All right. Well, let's go ahead and revoke it. 76% chance. M difference in military strength. This belongs to him. He's a king. Let's revoke it. If a war happens, a war happens. The weakening wearing state of warring state of Iberia opens the peninsula doors to outsiders. If you could declare themselves the new Slavic leader of the region or simply glory invaders, blah, blah, blah. Strongest to the strongest. Slavian consolidation. Dividing the faith and people of Iberia have given us a grand opportunity to, to busy to fighting each other. New blood was needed in Iberia. So does that mean... It just ends the Iberian conflict. Oh, that's anticlimactic as hell. I thought that was going to do something much cooler. Um, that's annoying. Well, guess what, Sampy? Now you're in charge of this land, too. But yeah, next and final hurdle will probably be the, um, the lovely Mongols whenever they make they deign to show their faces. I think they won't show till 1220, probably. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you're on Twitch, follow us. We're almost have affi uh, um, affiliate. That should probably happen hopefully this week. And uh, with that, I say, achoo. <laughs>